Hello and I'm going to talk to you now a little bit more about Google Fusion Tables and turning a raw piece of data into something like a visualization, simple visualization like a map. So this is if you don't have some data that you can find just through a search or you don't have anything to hand and you want to start from scratch. So as you would normally click create a new table and uh, you might need to sign in. Once you've signed in, instead of choosing to search for data or pull something from your uh, computer, an existing file, you can create an empty table and then click next. And this, this, this spreadsheet will load up and obviously the fields will be blank. There's a few sort of bits of starter tech, starter uh, information in there just to get you, get you going. Remember that at this stage or at any other stage, if you want to share, so click share, this document with other people they can work collaborative, collaboratively uh, easier to do than say on a document with uh, with other people so that you can all add data and, and sort of spread the workload um, now what I'm going to show you here is just how to create a, a little map uh, with just a few fields of data just to get you started um, the the way that it works is that you have to geolocate your data so you have to tell the uh, Google where the uh, where the piece of information you want to map is located and then you can add things like images and um, other sort of bits of rich content so we'll just do a simple map with a few points plotted on and a few images so I'll show you how to, to go through that process um, the first thing to note that in the location field that's uh, if you just if you just put in the name of a place it'll plot that place on the map which is all well and good if it's somewhere obvious like Newcastle uh, or Sunderland or London, um, but the, tr the the chances are that you're going to want to be much more precise than that. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the location tab and change that, and I'm going to change it to a two column location, which will allow me to put in latitude and longitude. So on a map, and I'm just going to replace it with that number field. On a map, um, you'll be able to pro pr plot precisely where you want that to go. So I'm just going to rename those fields. So that one will be latitude. And number becomes longitude. So I'll explain how to how to change those uh, how to make all the how to find those uh, that data in a second. So I've got a few fields there, longitude, latitude, date, I'm going to add uh, a, a column which I'm going to place an image in. So when I add this image column I'm going to change it to let's call it image and format I'm going to make it an eight line image so that's just telling it that to expect Im an image rather than text. So you've got the building blocks here for a, for a simple visualization in, in map form uh, so what you need now is obviously data. So you need to decide what you're going to map. Um, that can be anything from potholes in your uh, in your local patch to street style fashion. And it should be said that uh, Google Fusion Tables are really good for many many things, and uh, mapping is one of them. Although you can use Google Maps uh, just to, as effectively to create a, a map in there that you can embed on blogs. So that's another way around it, but with Fusion Tables it gives you more flexibility with what you can output. The collaborative ways of working are quite interesting and the the, the data is is more sortable, searchable and uh, you can just handle it in, in a more, far more effective way. So it's a, it's a good way to practice learning, uh, a good way for practicing and for learning Google Fusion Tables just to, to create a little map. So just to talk you through this process one step at a time along these these kind of fields of data that you're going to require. So I'm going to create a, a kind of mini um, street style map and in the, so in the text field I'm going to click on this row and edit row and the text for this one is going to be cool shades and I'm going to add another row to the table so I can add more points on my map or more, uh, more information and that is going to be pretty dress So I've now got two fields of data. Now in terms of the longitude and latitude, you, you're 
find this out by um, by using Google Maps, or you can do it through your if you if you tag geotag your images when you take a, a photograph with say your, your iPhone or whatever it is, and upload it. You can get the data on where where you are from the the GPS uh, information on your phone. Um, but if you're not sure, you can always kind of uh, retrace your steps. So if you go into Google Maps and click uh, My Places, you'll, you'll come up with this these options. So what I'm going to do is click this pointer here and I can place a pointer where I took that photograph. So let's say it was uh, in the university campus here. I can OK that. Now just to get the information you need to right click this pointer which on a Mac as I'm using will be control click and then what's here. And you can see up here you've got the information for the longitude and latitude so I'm going to paste those into the relevant field on my fusion table. So I'm going to edit row. Longitude is minus whatever. And then the latitude and the date was say the fourth of March twenty thirteen. And the only thing I haven't got is an image. Now to get a hold of the image I've uh, just to, to speed up the process found an image here. Now the image itself you don't download it, you don't do anything with it so if it's on your blog already um, through the, uh, if you're on a WordPress blog, if you go into the image library you can get an address for where that picture is held online because every image is obviously uploaded and has its own web, like its own URL basically. Um, so through WordPress, you can go in the image library and get that information. But if you need, if you another way around it, so if you're using an image from your blog or what have you, is to right-click that image, and then on a Mac you'll get copy copy image address, which will copy the address of where that's held. On a PC, depending on your browser, it obviously changes. But things like Internet Explorer, I tried last night, and you can right-click and, and under properties, you get you get an image address for where the uh, image is held. So I'm going to copy that address, paste it into my image field and save that. So you'll see now we've got the title, the position on the map, the date and the image. So I'm going to repeat that process for another um, another, uh, another image, the party dress. So let's say, let's go back in and say that I took this photograph I don't know, um, on this nice patch of grass next to the glass centre. So I'm going to right click that to get the information. So let's control click on a mark and ask what's here. It's giving me the new longitude and latitude. Copy that into the data fields. the date, find my image, so that is right clicking, copy image address, and then paste and save that. So I've now got two pieces of data. So if I click map of location, this will um, plot those two positions on the map, as you can see. So if I click on this one here, You'll see that mine are cool shades. And this one here, lady in pretty dress. And all of these elements are customizable. And as I say, there are other ways of doing maps through Google Maps. But if you're learning Google Fusion Tables, this is a good way to start picking up the basics of working with the data, altering the rows, and just experimenting with experimenting with the outcomes.